Agricultural activity is the, is the bedrock of our existence in, in Kailan districts. Every bit of our society is uh, dependent on agriculture. The improvement of technology in terms of value addition uh, in the area of agriculture is a laudable venture for our districts. Now out of agriculture with the leaf, now out of agriculture with the educate with, with Bikinden. Now out of agriculture with everything we do now out of farming. So to we agriculture is very, very much more important. Cocoa and coffee we know. It's uh, one of uh, the cash crop uh, produce as far as uh, our country is concerned. It's one of the, the, the produce that, even, that is even marketable you know, outside Sierra Leone. That makes Kenema very attractive because if you mention cocoa and coffee, they will tell you it's from Kenema, it's from the eastern part of Sierra Leone. As traditional leaders, we they supervise and observe and monitor all activities that we achieve done. You know, all all over this country, Kailan District is a is is, is a district that produces uh, organic cocoa. Now, and our our cocoa in the districts has has been rated all over the world as uh, one of the best. And so, if we have um, a factory in this district that can transform that cocoa into finished product like chocolate and other other things i think it will add to the life of the people it will add to the economy of this district and in a whole it will contribute to the country's general gdp for us like i said agriculture is key we want to see how we create the linkages because our people have been producing a lot but the problem has been the aspect of market and the supply chain yeah so uh, what this project is doing the eu project we are now implementing first it has to construct roads and in the process of constructing these uh, roads or feeder roads uh, improvement you are linking the farmers to the market because we have goods that are perishable yeah so for instance now a farmer who is uh, at uh, let's say a uh, small boat chiefdom you know would have his vegetable or perishable goods but sometimes because of the poor road network those products will be i mean normally get uh, rot or whatever but what the eu is doing now is how do we improve on the road network so that farmers have access to the market. So we'll be doing a whole lot of coverts, a whole lot of feeder roads improvement on the EU project. Secondly, the market again, linking the farmers to the market is key, but also we need to create a conducive atmosphere for our farmers, you know, where they will bring their produce, they can sell and, you know, have money. So part of the EU in, in intervention we have, we'll be constructing ultra modern market in key locations within Kenema, inclusive Blama for instance. A large percentage of people that engage in farming also are women. When you go to any community or any household, you have a backyard garden. And men do not uh, invest in backyard garden. We only have women. Women invest in vegetables. Women invest in, 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 in fruits and that kind of thing. And so uh, concentrating on women can also boost their economic power. Well, we they support young people there and women then by advising them. Sometimes I can even call meeting. I can call them into a meeting. I give them advices, I give them old stories. I give them examples then for letting them involve into agriculture. We know our farmers have a lot of challenges. In the first place, if we talk about farming, it's a whole capital intensive. So I think that's also a major impediment because they are poor. So because of that, they could not produce more. Sometimes they only produce just to feed themselves. So for us, our EU project is supporting in that direction. We also have uh, institutions that uh, EU is supporting, like uh, for instance, DEEP, 
They are also in agriculture supporting our farmers, you know, through some microfinance scheme, even uh, WHH. They are also seeing how they will support. So it's not just for us as council, but even development partners working on the EU project are also pushing in that direction, ensuring that farmers have access to finance, have access to the market, and the market is also available for them.